What is going on, Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video on this lovely Friday afternoon, Labor Day weekend. It is almost the end of the summer, which is a little bit sad, but good news. Football is returning. At least the NFL will be back very, very soon, a week away. And college football is already back. And we have a college football story. Now, granted, I fully admit right out of the gate, I will not be as locked into college football this year, I hope, because I think the Jets are going to actually be good. And when the Jets are playing poorly, that's when I usually tend to get in college football a little bit earlier. I fully admit I'm a casual college football fan. I don't really have a team. I guess I'd claim Texas. That's the team that I watch the most, but it's not like I'm sitting there living and dying with every single snap. If there's a big college football game, I'll watch, but moral of the story, it's not like I'm watching, you know, 12 games a year of Notre Dame and living and dying with it or Alabama, right? Like, I don't know, college football is very different in the North and the South, but let, let's just get that out of the way. But moral of the story, college football is back this past week. Games are getting underway and the New York Jets are sending out their scouts. And last night was a very big college football game. And the Jets were one of 18 teams that sent their scouts to watch this game. Last night was Colorado versus North Dakota State. As I mentioned, Jets were one of the teams to send their scouts to watch this game. And this game featured two of the most exciting. I won't say number one and number two necessarily, but just two of the, like, they are in the conversation for two of the most exciting college football players this season. That is Shador Sanders and Travis Hunter. Both of those guys play for Colorado. And after how the season started for Colorado a year ago, there were a really big story with Deion Sanders. And then they eventually just finished four and eight and ended up being a tough year. And I don't know how much better they'll be this year than they were a year ago. Uh, but what I will say is they have two guys who probably both will end up being top five picks in the draft. So when watching those games, sure, can they be scouting guys who maybe are going to go way later and doing their due diligence on, you know, guys in, in rounds two through seven and UDFAs and all that stuff? Of course, yes. But the two that are going to be watched under a microscope week in and week out are Shador Sanders and Travis Hunter. Shador is entering probably his final year in college football. He will enter the draft. And as I mentioned, he's a first round pick. How high he goes is still TBD, depending on what happens this year. But if he plays well and with how much of an emphasis is put on quarterbacks, probably will end up going in the top five. And he was awesome last night. Awesome. 26 at 34, 445 yards, four touchdowns and a pick. And the interception was the most one of the most bizarre interceptions I've ever seen. It hit off a defender's foot, bounced up, and then was picked off in the end zone. It kind of reminded me of the Darrell Revis interception against the Panthers in 2009, where it went off a of Steve, I believe it was Steve Smith's foot. It kind of just popped straight up, and it was an interception. But moral of the story, Shador was awesome in his debut of the season. And then you get to Travis Hunter, who is an exciting name, not not because he's a quarterback. Shador's the quarterback on the team, but he plays both ways. Travis Hunter is a wide receiver and a cornerback, and he's damn good at both. And in this game, he had seven catches for 132 yards and three touchdowns. The chances of him, of him being a two-way player in the NFL are very, very slim. He likely will have to choose one, but he's good at both. The point that I wanted to make here is while I fully do not expect the Jets to be drafting in striking distance of Shador uh, Sanders or Travis Hunter, one, it's the NFL, weird things happen. Two, trades could always happen. But most importantly, three, whether Travis Hunter is at wide receiver or corner and Shador Sanders at quarterback, you could argue that those are three of the Jets' biggest needs entering the 2025 draft. The Jets very well could look to uh, draft the successor for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, they took a flyer on Jordan Travis, and maybe maybe they don't. I'm not saying as of now, and again, it's still early. It's August 30th, for God's sakes, uh, that the Jets have to draft quarterback and then draft the Rodgers successor this year. No, they don't have to, but it's an avenue. It's certainly an avenue that they could take. Some people argued that the Jets should have done it um, earlier in the draft this year. And for Travis Hunter, I mean, at wide receiver, 
Alan Lazard's on an expire, not an, on an expiring deal, but they're going to get out of the Alan Lazard contract. Mike Williams is on a one year deal. Um, and then there's a lot of question marks on the roster. They could very well look to add a, num- a number two wide receiver to pair with Garrett Wilson. And they could do that if Travis Hunter ends up playing wide receiver at the next level. Or again, DJ Reed, we've talked about at length, very likely leaving in free agency. If Quantez Stiggers, Brandon Eccles, Jarek Bernard Converse, if none of those guys develop the way the Jets are hoping they do this year, and Travis Hunter's playing corner at the next level, well, that is absolutely a position that the Jets could look to add in the first round. So again, I don't think the Jets are going to be picking top five. Could they trade up for one of these guys? Maybe, and I'm sure that's a conversation we could have from hopefully like March to April and not start this conversation in like November, like we have in the last couple years. Uh, But it's still, as I mentioned, two of the most exciting college prospects. The Jets were there. And right now I just wanted to, you know, bring it up because I haven't seen anyone talk about it really yet um, that the Jets sent their scouts for it and just put it on your radar for something to watch. Season hasn't started yet. Very excited for the Jets 2024 season. I think it's going to be a fun one, but wanted to update you guys that the Jets were sending their scouts to this very big college football game. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm Matt O'Leary, and I'll catch you next time.